Yo, what is going on guys? It is not in reality and in today's video I basically wanted to show you where I think you should be grinding at like the mid game spot. This is around like, you know, like 250 to like 281 kind of areas and how not to get burnt out while grinding. So first of all, I just want to go over uh, obviously the main silver spot that everyone talks about, you know, the infamous centaurs. It's not a great spot if you don't want to get burnt out because you're just grinding silver and you'll get to a point where you're like, all I'm doing every day is grinding silver and that's about it. And it gets really boring really fast, take my word for it. I've grinded centaurs for hundreds of hours and I literally can't go back there. I've, I know multiple people who have quit because of centaurs. But let's get into the real thing that I wanted to talk about and that's doing like multiple things while you're grinding to stay productive. What I mean by that is make sure you're doing your HP and your MP pot, infinite pots. These two things are going to help you so much once you get to end game. And if you don't do it now while you're in like that 250 to 281 range, you're going to do it later on because you're going to be like, oh, I need these. And then you're going to be like, oh, I'm making like no silver because I could be grinding like, you know, orcs or something, but I can't do that because I need to farm the HP pot. But if I farm the HP pot, I make no silver. So if you do it earlier on, you won't be losing as much silver because there's not as many spots you can grind. So let's start out with what I would do. First of all, if you're like in that 250 range, like that really early range, I'd farm Blood Wolves first. It's probably one of the worst silver of all the HP potion uh, items. And obviously you're looking for the Ancient half, half Moon once you get that. I would move on then to the Necropolis. Necropolis is actually really decent silver. And you're looking obviously for the Shurikan's Panacea. After that, you go over there to Ronoros 240. Ronoros is really good, actually. I, I made a lot of silver off of this. I did this earlier on when a, some of these items were more up in price. Right now, a lot of these items are down, actually. But Ronoros is really good. And then once you farm your HP pot, if you want to take a break, maybe like you farmed all three of these places, you got your HP pots, you know, it's maybe took you anywhere from like 100 hours to 200 hours, depending on your luck, and maybe even less. Um and you, you're like really close to a upgrade, you can, you know, go to centaurs if you want, get that little bit of push just so you feel like you've gotten an upgrade other than items. But then once you're done with that, I'd recommend going and starting your MP pot grind. Now, people are very uh, intimidated when they hear the MP pot grind because of this bad boy over here. But we'll get into that. So first off uh for the mp pot grind i'd start at tashira ruins personally this was my least favorite out of every pot piece it just took forever and it wasn't really that fun you didn't really make too much silver although people say you do make a lot of silver i personally didn't make that much silver i barely got any eye of the ruins rings but if you get those you make a pretty penny once you're done grinding tashira i'd recommend then moving over to manchoms manchoms is probably one of my favorite grinding spots because the Kafirs you get from it are insane. Like, you get so many Kafirs. I was making so much uh, silver here when I was grinding here. But, yeah, you end up doing that. And then, obviously, you have to go into Navarn Steps and get the last piece. Uh, one thing you can do is, obviously, you can save this for later. At least get these two spots first. Because if you're, if you're like me and you, like, got into that grinding phase, you just wanted to grind. You didn't want to stop and do uh, this thing right here and have to buy a bunch of Mano stuff to get the right mastery. So if I were you, I would do Tashira and then do Manchums and then just stop and not do this for now. If you want to do this for now, I personally don't recommend going for Pity Piece. I recommend only killing the mobs that drop the full piece. It honestly only took me like 20 hours to get it because I only went after the mobs that drop the full piece. But yeah, once you do that, or if you don't want to do that, here's another option. I recommend doing Histria out in the desert, which is where I'm actually at right now. Because at Histria... Why that didn't show up? Uh, well, there we go. History of Ruins is really good silver. You get 15k from your normal drops if you're running Agris and stuff, which is uh, really good to use here. You can get, you know, like uh, 12, 13k trash an hour. It's really good. You also get uh, the Tungrad Earring and the Tungrad Necklace, which right now, if you're watching this video, like right now, Tungrad stuff is selling for a crazy amount because the quest just came out that gives you plus one AP, plus one DP. So yeah, I'd be farming here if I were you. I've been farming here for a while. Uh, I know earlier when the quest just released, I, I made like a bill off of like four to five accessories. It was pretty crazy. But while you're farming here, you're also going to be farming the uh, compass piece. Now the compass isn't 
as good of an item as like an HP or MP infinite pot, but it's still a cool item to go for. And this is what I'm talking about when I say like farm for multiple things at a time. So you feel like you're progressing in multiple categories. And then also this place drops a huge amount of Kafras. Obviously, once you get both these history of pieces, the, Vo the Vodkin and the Elton slash Balton piece, if you ever get it, uh, you can obviously go to Achman, which is less silver, way less at 7,000. You still have the earrings, but then you get the earring drop as well. It's not great, but you can do that as well. And other than that, there isn't really many spots I recommend grinding. I know a lot of people say to go for map. Map's pretty good, but I personally uh, don't want to take that much of a silver hit, honestly. Uh, even at like 277, which is what I'm at right now. Obviously, like I said, Centaurs is really good, but you're going to burn yourself out super fast. Um, there was a time where like I was told like, oh, go Cadres, do Agris at Cadres. Uh, do Agris at like, uh, what else was it? It was like Cadres, uh, Kratuga, which is like in the mountains over here. You have to go into it. I found them decent, but it's like you're only farming silver. You're not really progressing your account other than silver. And you'll just get really burnt out doing that. And then obviously another uh, honorable mention would be like Star's End, which if you have uh, like old moon scrolls, you could do this. I recommend using those to farm up your pod pieces, but you could do Star's End once you get to higher end, like I'd say around like 271 or more. And try to get lucky disto earrings. I farmed Star's End for like 40 hours and I haven't gotten many distos, so I'm personally not a fan of it. Uh, but those are like the main spots I'd recommend farming. Uh, obviously, you can go to Polys if you're like on the low end. If you're like 250 and you need XP still, you can go to Polys because it's still really good XP. But other than that, that's about it. And then obviously, once you get above 280, that's when you can start doing the really cool farms. You could do like Jade Forest. Uh, you could do Orcs. You could do all this really cool stuff. I'll make another video on that once I get to it myself because I don't want to get not get to it and then give you guys false information but uh, i hope this video helped with uh basically showing you where i'd recommend farming just remember to try to be like more productive with your farming don't just farm for one thing if you can farm for multiple things i think you'll progress your account a lot faster and you'll also feel better about grinding and yeah that's it for the video hope you guys did enjoy if you did make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one